tonight. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're so excited. I rewatched the live from the other day. Did you see where we both? <laughs> okay, hi. Okay, in yes. case you've never seen this before. This is Mandy. This is, and this She's is Megan. Queen B. Oh, Queen Oh, we're doing Bs that tonight. Funny? That's um, so exciting. Sparkleberry. I'm not a Queen B. Oh, okay. So, we're live. We are live. That's okay. good news. Um, first, we are going to try a really interesting experiment. Fun. Yes, because I wanted to do a bonus project tonight with Puff, which is now on the website. It's amazing. Yes. Um, and I messed up, and I, instead of cutting it at, on the settings that I should have for my Cameo 3, I used Cameo 4 settings on the 3, so I cut all the way through it. We all know that that happens. Well, wait a second. Right? Did you do a test cut? I did not. So there we go, and there this lies our lesson. Thing. Wait, do you always do a test cut? I do. You should, okay? You always should. Megan's lying. Because so, I use the four, and the four is, I struggle sometimes with it. So well, I always We're do still the getting test used cut. to figuring out the settings, right? So what happened is, what had happened was, we just weeded it on the mat. I've never tried this before. Megan is being a negative Nelly and saying it's not going to work. <laughs> But I think it is. So we're gonna see if we can press this and then like quickly, like do a quick tack and then quickly pull the mat off. It probably is gonna ruin my mat. We can fill this back up. Okay, you guys. It so might. We're gonna give you five minutes. Five you minutes. You guys all place bets you on here talk to and them. comment and make a place bets of if you think it's gonna work or if you think it's not working. And don't be the you know negative one. I'm really not negative. I'm just realistic. No, she's not. So what do you guys think? She doesn't want it to work because it's gonna be amazing. And then I'm going to be right. So this is the big question if you just hopped on. We are going to be pressing this design because I accidentally cut all the way through the, the carrier sheet. So we're going to be pressing this design with the mat on top. Uh, with Teflon over the top of that. And listen, if it ruins my mat, it's fine. It's fine, right? I just need to see if this works because I've thought of this often, right? Hi, Karen. That if it happens. Hello, hello, Jerry. Jerry's here. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do puff first. This is our bonus project. First of all, this amazing designer is the Black Cat Prince, and she donated this amazing kindness bundle to our box members. And box members, you know all about it. So I, I saw this one today. Somebody said this was my favorite because I let them vote on who they, which one they wanted. And I saw all this surface area, and the trick with puff is to find a file that has all this surface area like this. So it'll puff up, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that first. It used to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm saying it's not gonna work. Oh, okay. Y'all can, you know what? See, they're just realistic. Listen, you can say it's not gonna work, but I'm gonna show you it that it, it might work, okay? So it might ruin my mat, you're right. We're just gonna see. Why can't we just see? And we can totally listen, see. Do not try this at home. There you go. Yeah, Unless it works, actually, and you'll be like, "She's amazing." This will be amazing. That's what Mandy was going to do it ahead of time, and I said, "No, I think you guys need to see it. Yeah, to see if it works or doesn't, because that way you'll know." You know, we've all thought about it. We've all had this thought that, "Hey, you know what? I don't want to waste this sheet of vinyl, so I'm going to ruin my ten dollar mat." Which right? is funny because I have not thought. What I do is I go, "No." And you're all mad because it's not going to work. Yeah, but we'll know now. Yeah. So it's, that's awesome. it's going to work. So I'm going to grab the camera. Okay. So you guys get an up close and personal view. Okay. And so all of you naysayers, we'll just see. We will just see. And then we'll move on to the regular proje projects. This is actually a super... Um, this is the tiniest th shirt. This is an experimental project first, just for fun, just uh, just for giggles, okay? So, Megan, I think I should be in charge of this because your quick tack is uh, like three times as long as mine. So... <laughs> well, I think in this situation, you should do eight. Quick, quick, long tack. No, no. There's no? no. What do you mean a quick, 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 long? What does that even mean? So it'll be hotter, so it'll stay on better. Okay, we're gonna really preheat it, right? We're really preheating okay. it right yeah. now. We are. Yep. Okay. Getting it nice and warm because what we want is for the adhesive to activate uh -huh. before we activate the meltingness of this. Okay. okay. So can you see? We can totally see. Good. Okay. So kindness in my jam, super cute design. Mm -hmm. We are gonna try this, and if it melts. I'll be super sad, but 
You know what? It's better me than I you, mean, right? At, at least we have the Teflon so it just won't mess up the heat press. That's right. the important thing. We don't want to mess up the heat press. And I really it would be sad about the shirt as well, but it's fine. So we're just going to do a quick tack, real okay. quick. Quick. All right. Well, here we go. I have no, literally no idea. And ta -da. But you know what? We have a backup design just in case. Quick tack at 300 or 299. All right. So then. See, it should have been longer. I think you should have gone like five seconds. Oh, you're right. It should have been quick, quick, long. <laughs> no, because it's a lot thicker, it's going to be a longer process. Five. One, two, three. We just want the, the, the adhesive to activate, you guys. And then we're going to go back and repress it. Oh, my. No idea if this is going to work. Gosh. Well, at least it's coming off. I didn't even think it would even come off the sheet. I knew it would. I knew it would. So, okay, this is... This is a little sad, just so you know. My, my mat's a little um, traumatized, but it's okay. Now we're gonna cover this really nicely, and okay. we're gonna do the full press for this. Which is 15 seconds now, right? Actually 12 to 12. 15, so about like 10. So that had 12 on it, so when the timer goes off, you can pull it up. Yep. It works. I'm very surprised it actually worked. All right, so this is Now, cuffed, let's see. And I love it, and it worked, and now everybody can say, oh my gosh, did you guys know, of course there's hair in it, did you guys know you could do that? So let's pull it over here in the light. Okay. All right. There's a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of stuff going on tonight. We, we have do. so much fun. Now see how the puff super puffed up? Isn't that fun? And and then if you want to add the little coolness in there to put your little, like, you know, the dog hair or whatever this happens to be in here. Yeah, but I don't think we should pull it. That's always fun. Um, okay. It's so if memory. you can see yeah. now, it's very, very puffy. And I love yes. it so much. So I did this at 300 um, oh, and I have no idea of where the actual, wait, where's the carrier sheet? It's attached. It's attached. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll task Megan with this at the end. We'll just yeah. get this off. But the carrier was cut all the way through, and so that does, yeah. that does work. You know what, I'm not even going to brag. I'm not even going to brag. I, why it says. I'm going to be humble and you say. Are, hi, Lori. Why it says uh, Mandy is always right. Why, you know what, <laughs> you're a young boy. We need to teach you the right way. Okay. Look how good it is, it is. though. It's, it's very really, really cute. nice. Do you guys see how it has a lot of surface area? So for puff and pattern, they both start with P, you want to make sure that you have a lot of surface area in whatever design you're you're doing. Okay? So now we can save that other one for another day because this one proved. It worked out perfectly as I knew it would. <laughs> All right, Megan, yeah. let's switch and you can do your rainbow shirt because this was you wanted this one, right? And then we have a very special B project tonight. So all right, okay. so moving on to another file from mm -hmm. that cute bundle, right? We're yes. very organized, as usual. We are very organized. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to put this down so I don't make you guys seasick. So we've already weeded most of it. Yes. Um, I threw this in. You guys, I went ahead and... Um, but, oh, look at it. You're holding yeah, out on it. You know, I did a few things. Uh, I actually meant to put that kindness jar on the back of the shirt so I could put a little pocket kindness jar but we're just gonna we're gonna say that for another day. Um, but this one is the offset. I did an offset of the, just the rainbow and the sparkles of this Choose Kindness rainbow from that black crack, black cat prints bundle. All right, so we should be weeding this. Yeah, so let's weed it. They love they love this. This is this is fun, and we haven't weeded in front of them in a long, long time. Wow. Uh, no, Jerry, thank you for a asking that. So it was a bonus project. So the puff is not in your box. So that is correct. Um, you would need to order that separately. So, Jerry, you just go on and order while you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, so the puff is amazing. There are several different colors as well. So, great job, Megan. It's just an offset, so there's nothing in it. Now, we'll weed this one really quick. No, we weeded it. Oh, yeah. you already weeded uh -huh. it. She already weeded the rainbow. So, we used Happy Waves again, you guys. Um, this is the Chameleon Cuttables design that we put in the box this month. She did an exclusive pattern, two exclusive patterns for us, and we love it so much. Yes. We're using it a second time. So I needed it for the rainbow. I was like, no, it has to be the rainbow. Now, okay, so I do have a little bit of a question. I'm a little concerned that whenever I was confused about it's not gonna... my reverse, that it wouldn't match up. So it's okay, we'll just cut it apart. So we may have to cut the transfer tape in the end, is my point, which is fine, totally fine. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, now so, so it's pattern. So of course we're gonna have to mask it really quick. And Megan meant to turn it upside down. Well, so I do it both ways. Oh yeah, I know, but then it grabs all the you know sticky stuff or stuff on the top of the tabletop. So 
So if you, if you place it upside down, it doesn't get as dirty. It'll last a little longer, which is great. But she's got plenty, so it's okay. Yeah, but you guys do it upside down. You want me so to cut it? Yeah, go ahead and cut it. I have a feeling we're going to need to cut, we're going to need to piece it because I did a little moving around. And yes, you see a fly swatter over there. Just stay tuned <gasps> because this is about yes. to get real, you guys. It hey, is. You guys want to see the pretty puff again? Yeah. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. And that was, that file is just perfect for it. So, so cool. Okay, back to this. All right, so let's get the shirt. All right, we're going to do a shirt. Don't worry, the last project is not a shirt, gonna... though. Nope, I'm going to switch with you. A t-shirt. Mm -hmm. They have a question if you can do without a heat press. Oh, a heat press? So, yes, you can. So, Carol's, Carol and Julie are here tonight with us, and so they are going to be telling us your questions. And somebody's asked if we can do puff with... What was the question? Without a, Fresh heat press. without a heat press. So with, do I wouldn't recommend without with an iron, you guys. But if you have an easy press, yes, just make sure you keep it at three hundred degrees. So okay? this is amazing fruit of the loom. It is. I found this in my little my blank stash. I was like, oh, I love this little long sleeve t shirt. It's perfect for the spring right now because when I'm cold, I can still uh, use it and or wear it and not get hot later. I mean, it's perfect, right? And yes. Megan's super excited to be doing another shirt. I am so excited. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, Megan gives me a hard time because I'm always wanting to do shirts because it is my favorite project to make, to make t-shirts, but I do like to change it up every now and then. So she's putting that middle line down there for you. You just want us to practice so that when we start doing those shirts. Yeah. Okay. You mean finish doing the shirts, right, Megan? Oh, Because yeah. we are well on our way to finishing those shirts. <laughs> Megan's coming over tomorrow, and she and I are going to make all of the shirts from the Talk Shop Live sale the other night. And yep. get those out. I'll be here you. at 6 a.m. Yep, I doubt it, but yeah. All right, so first, I think we should do the offset. You want first to do the offset? Okay. Yeah, but you need to measure it with yeah, both. Yeah, we need to figure out where it's going to be, right? Exactly. So this one will go on top. I know nothing about this file, so. Ooh, Oops, gosh. sorry, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. You know, we're in a cramped spot right here. All right, so we're doing, we're just measuring it really quick. So, um, what's wrong? Is it not matching? No, it has to match. Did you not reverse something? Listen, I really wanted to reverse it. That was what I meant to do, and I couldn't, that's what I was talking about. Like, I felt like it was, like, a little wonky. Is it not right? Mm. Okay, let's find, what else do we have? Any other part to this? Let's get yeah. this two. No, that's not going to tell you anything, though. All right, so you know, just some, just a little crafting. Uh, part of it was mirrored, part of it wasn't. One of them I mirrored, obviously, again. And so shouldn't here's the way I see it. <sighs> Let me tell you how I see it. Yeah, just take the white off. All right. No, well, no, no. I'm gonna cut the blue out. No, it's gonna take too long. Yeah, it'll be crazy. I okay. can cut it out while you're doing it. Yeah. I think that what happened. Cut this. And then this. But the but the sparkles don't match up, right? Let me just look at it really quick. Let me let me look at it. What do you mean the sparkles won't light up? Uh, they won't. They won't the, you'll have to cut out each sparkle too. So I don't think we should. Gosh, man. I mean, come on, Mandy. Come on. I was, I was actually just actually a rainbow on that. All you have one. to do is flip it around to see if you did it wrong or I did it wrong, and I certainly did. So you have a choice but, at this point. So why don't we do this? We what? have two helpers here, right? Yeah. Have them recut. Uh huh. To do the offset, what, what, it is. What would they recut? They would it, recut the white. No, no, no. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's recut the white. So I'm gonna go really quick and just get that started for them. And um, yeah, are you gonna entertain them? No, you do it. Okay. Um, well, you don't know which side. Just. You want me to come it, it's. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So. Yes. No. You know what? Let's just skip it. It's fine. We're gonna skip it. We're go. <laughs> Can you guys tell us live? But because it's, I gotta cut it and it. it nah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. We, did, we got it. It really is. It's, it's good. Really so good. what? Is, I promise. It's good. It's gonna be beautiful. The offset isn't in the design anyway. I was just being fancy. So basically, there you go to put it where you want it. But you guys, I think you should offset it. Just FYI, I think. And it's gonna but I would say do the mirror cut if you offset it. Well, that be amazing. You're idea? right. You're okay. Oh, Megan, that is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick tack. Just one quick tack for the first layer, you guys. Everybody's like, I'm so confused. Okay. What yeah. are they doing? Well, we wanted to put this offset well, on. We have all the confidence in the world in jewelry, but here's the thing. I wasn't sure oh, if you knew your login. No. Uh, what I worry so, about. It's still on the 
You know what I worry about? What do actually? you worry about? I worry about because I don't know if it's mirrored or not mirrored. So she's got to find it in the exact size and everything that I just did. Like it's it's not and it's not just as simple as opening it and doing it again. We gotta re we gotta make sure it's size. What you doing? Oh wow! Did I like? Okay, so what happened, guys? Is that I didn't mirror the bl that blue, which is strange because just that blue like was mirrored. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just like a little cute wonky rainbow. I mean, yeah, it's great. And this. All right, but again, I'll show you. I think you should use an offset because it would be really, really fun. And and since everybody has okay. access to offset pretty soon, I'm very excited <gasps> about that. Yeah, so some people don't know about that. So why don't you explain that? Oh, well, I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe not. I think, I think I'm like super exhausted from all the drama of all of that. The good news is um, Cricut has fixed it. And so I'm super excited. Now, how cute is that? This is going to be such a... It's gonna just make me happy any every time I put it on. So see how the little cute little hearts are they are on the ends. That is so gorgeous. This is a really, really, really cute design. And I hope you guys love it. You know, I think <laughs> I think I actually like it so much. Uh-huh. Let me see it up against you. I'm not gonna go home until my coffee cup is done. Okay. Amazing. That's so cute. That is totally cute. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around for now because, okay. you guys... Oh, we're going to the Mac Daddy. Yeah, we're going to the big, like, There's project the of the night, okay? So, pardon me while I'm anymore. way too so close to the camera. This aside. Okay, way too close to the camera. Kind of is my jam. That's super cute. Smile, again. Smile, again. I am still... How many of us lost the bet <laughs> is all I'm going to say. I know, and then I messed up my offset. I was on a roll until then, but it's fine. Now... Let's talk about bees, okay? Because the other file that a couple people said they wanted to see was the Be Kind file from this kindness bundle that is adorable. And mm -hmm. um, I just so happened to last, a couple weeks ago, somebody posted on Nextdoor. They were upset because the homeowners associations were making them already, like, get rid of the, the weeds. But the weeds, this is very important. This is a PSA, Okay. So the weeds, all the dandelions and those first weeds that pop up in the beginning of spring or right before spring, that is the only food that the bees have available to them. And listen, if you fact check me and I'm wrong, I will totally accept that. But I was, I'm following this specialist from really? the, the next door thing, okay? So if we kill our weeds with fertilizer especially, if, or not fertilizer, um, poison, it will kill the bees. And let me tell you why bees are important. Why are bees important, Andy? they give you the food you eat. Like they are a, a, a very, very important part of the food process, food growing process. They're the pollinators. They're the pollinators. So, so if, <laughs> Megan's like, what? No, I'm saying, it, so you, so she's trying to explain why she has weeds in her front yard. <laughs> exactly, that was also a point. But not but, only that, that's where all of the cocoons are. Oh. And it takes out the butterflies if you clean it too Early. Okay, so that's where all the cocoons are. So if you take them out too early, Carol says, that it will take away all the cocoons from the butterflies. So you don't want to do this. This is very important. It really is in all seriousness. So um, the bees, they there is a direct relationship when the bees are having a bad season. Our The cost of our produce goes up. So it's important. So you, you don't do this with the bees. No. <laughs> The honeybees, at least. Okay, so this is very important. Um, and, and that's not the only reason we want bees around. We actually need them to kind of survive. Einstein, I believe, fact check me again, it's fine. Uh, he said we, if we completely eradicated honeybees, we would have four years to live. That's also within, that all, my whole source is coming from next door. So don't be mad yes. at me if I'm wrong. Oh my gosh. But that's all I have time for. So tonight, or to, yeah, tonight. We're going to be doing a bee project that is actually useful to the bees. And I hope you guys do this, especially with your kids. It would be amazing. Um, what you need for this project is a mason jar. And then uh, if you have access to a sprouting lid, uh, a sprouting lid, look, it fits on a, a jar like this. And it has a little bitty, like, you know, baby holes. If you were really creative, you would have sent your husband. He could have went down and made uh, holes and made her own. I know, but I think it's going to rust. and it, uh, Yeah. So <laughs> Pinterest said to use a fly swatter. However, uh, this was the only fly swatter Jason could find. And so it doesn't have the tiny little square, so it may not work, but it's okay. I'm gonna give you the gist of it and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So basically, 
And how do you do it, man? You're gonna hold this right there, okay? <laughs> no, we're gonna trace this. Um, no, this one actually. Yeah, we're gonna trace this mm -hmm. with a sharpie. Uh, I don't have a sharpie, so we're actually gonna use this. And then we're just gonna scissor cut it. We're gonna fussy cut it, and then I'll show you what else we're gonna do. But of course, we're also oh, so. going to put a decal on it. And I did reuse Charming Cheetah again, you guys, Ooh. because number one, we love this pattern. But number two, it has, I believe, they're very similar to Cosmos, and Cosmos are one of the most um, popular bee flowers. Wow. So I was like, perfect. And so maybe the color, at least, will attract the bees to their watering place. So the, the idea is to put water in it, have the sprouting lid, put this in a saucer, and then whenever the bees come up, they have a place to sit and drink. Let me tell you why water is important. I know. I am why really is water is important. Water is important to the bees. They need it to make everything they're making, okay? Just honey. Hun well, yes, honey. But and they, there are other things they do in, in, the bee, in the bee process, but bees need, bees can carry up to a gallon of water a day back to their hive. What? That was from Pinterest. So, again, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. So, well, but I'm serious. You know, like, maybe we like to see the facts from Pinterest. Listen, I'm a Gemini. I know a little bit about a lot. That's what I do. And then it, the details are, you know, fuzzy. But oh, Megan, look at Megan. She's just going for it. Yeah, apparently you might want to put a, something down when you use your Sharpie. But thank okay. goodness this is not a Sharpie, so right. I'm going to fix your table and I'll clean it later. Okay, so, so let's just see now. This is the ultimate. Can they see you? Okay. Yeah. <gasps> so basically we've made a little sprouting lid. Perfect. Even better if you have the smaller whole slice water. And now we're going to give this to Megan so that she doesn't actually kill the honeybees this yeah. season. Yeah. Okay? How cool is um, this? Okay. Beautiful job, Megan. That, like, that was, I thought that was going to be really complicated, but you guys can see no. it literally is just it a fly water cut. I think it should be little little holes, but we're going with it. All right. So now we're going to do the sparkleberry part of it to attract the bees. Actually, that is not proven. No, no, so, no. The color, I think, I think it does. It attracts to them. I think it does. It makes sense, right? Yeah, Carol, you know about bees. So <laughs> if they have the color around the bees. Are they attracted to color? They are because of flowers. Like the beehives and the bee boxes. Honeybees are attracted to flowers. It, oh, well, I mean, it's a different animal. And so. of course the bees are going to be attracted to sparkleberry. It is a no-brainer. So of course we're going to put sparkleberry on our little watering uh, thing. It's a bee waterer is what it was on, on Pinterest. Let me Google that and I'll tell you. Yeah, she's right. Gonna, so Carol's going to Google it. Now, now. Duck, duck, go. let's talk about this file. Did we already um, weed the, the yellow one? Oh, yes, we did. We Perfect. Did. All right, so we're going to be using Charming Cheetah. Um, we already put glitter laminate on this one, but I'm going to grab the camera and let Megan show you how to do glitter laminate so that you can get this amazing effect. Now, we did something a little different on this, if you can see. Um, what we did is we took out the inside of B, which is how the file is supposed to be. B. Um, but if you leave inside, if you just like take out all the cut lines of the inside of a uh, kind, this is another. I wanted to show you both options so you could see how you yeah. could do it solidly or you could do just the lines. So there's my little spin, my little creative spin. I'm going to grab that so you can show them your. Uh, your oh. your fancy your fancy stuff. So yeah, the glitter laminate. Uh huh. Maybe you have heard about glitter laminate. Yes, who's heard about glitter laminate? This is like the most amazing stuff ever. Yes. Okay, so this so, comes in the box, uh -huh. you guys, and it's a little glitter. It's going to be a double sheet. It's a double this size. Yes. So right. it's really a half a sheet. It's a half a full sheet. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to sparkly side a more a little bit more of a dull side, but right. it's still sparkly. It's more so than sparkly. That. Yeah. You can't tape. We're going to do a hinge method. Mm-hmm. You can put it down the middle. Beautiful. So we're ultimately right. You're going to make the little hinge. Just wait till you guys see how beautiful this charming cheetah is with this okay. glitter. And we're going to do a little trick. Pull it up. And if so, it's on the right side. And it comes up really, really easy then. Perfect. So you want it sticky on top, right? Uh -huh. Perfect. And if it doesn't come up with a piece of tape, you know, usually you have it the wrong side. Yeah. Because that is important. Sticky on top. And you may think this is a huge process. After you do it a couple times, it's not. And it's so worth so it. So beautiful. Especially if you put it on the back of your car. It'll just shimmer and shine. Yeah. Like the sparkly girl you are, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull this and pull it back. You see where the hinges? This is why I call it the hinge method. <laughs> yep. 
trick. Pull the flappy flappy off, fling it in Mandy's okay. studio because she wants to clean later. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I can't wait. All right. All right. About a 90 degree. There you go. And the goal, and this is getting pretty good because we didn't rush right, too right much. Here. There's no bubbles. You don't want bubbles. If you yeah. want bubbles, you just kind of pop it. And up. that's what that hinge method is great for, you guys, is, is making it without bubbles. And if you have a few bubbles, you know what? It's fine. Right, you just stick a little poker and poke it and get it out. It's up. super okay. Now, what did I do with the uh, actual file? <laughs> right here. Be kind. Yeah. You see it? Oh, good. Okay. So you can see... Now, we went ahead and left the cut lines in, but you can actually take those cut lines out of the file, guys, if you wanted to leave the kind more solid like we did. This was an afterthought, as most things are with me. Um, so I wanted to show you both sides. And this also has a cute little B and some little, like, you know, accents. So yeah. we're going to put, put both of these on that... That awesome mason jar that Julie saved me with over there because I needed a yeah. really big one. Do you want to know what my thought is? What's your thought? It's to take the outside of the kind and you can see it better. Um, no, I like the thickness of it. It's great. It's great. I know. Megan has not been happy about that decision that I made. She's, okay. That's the third time she's so, asked me. Okay, hold on. Mandy's already taken. Yeah. We're a little out of. This, view. and she's already cleaned this jar. Oh, yeah. You can clean it with alcohol. with alcohol and it's all been done, so there's no need. Yeah. But yeah. no, we like it just the way it is. Yep. Um, about the middle, right? Because the bees are going to go up above. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, 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 upside down. I, this is my fault. You didn't know this one. Don't. What? Can you get it off? Can you get it off? Can you get it off? Perfect. Upside Perfect. Down. Yep. It's, so it's going to be upside down. Oh, so we yeah, want yeah, the bees yeah, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. able okay, to so read it. That's okay. We got yeah. the E. Yeah, we're going to just... Uh, <laughs> leave, leave it to me to forget those tiny little little things. Here, where's the okay. pick? Pick! Where are you? Come on. Okay, there we go. So Megan's gonna get that off. See, this is we're showing you again when you screw up how easy it is to Are you pick. saying I screwed up? No, I actually forgot to tell you. So Megan didn't know this project until just now because I told her I wasn't gonna because I was like, you're gonna you're gonna flip out when you see what we're doing. Okay, Here, I'll that. do it. So you don't have to be worried about messing it up. This is such a cute file. Yeah, it was just interrupted. Oh, it's okay. What was That's normal. It, the, the weather is so bad, so I really, I would be super surprised if it hadn't already done that. It's the first time. That's amazing. Praise the Lord for that one. All right. <laughs> Don't tell Mandy. Bees can't read. <laughs> so what? Don't tell Mandy bees You're can't like, read. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> don't tell me you're so pretty bees can't read okay now there used to be a little little things right there too but this is we cut this really small you guys so that's why no, no, we're gonna do it like this perfect we're gonna okay. put it upside down so megan put it upside can... down so we don't mess it up again okay i'll help you hold this so we, since we don't have your lap to use so you can put this in between your like right in your lap and it helps you balance it you guys or in between like two towels yeah but you know details we're just we like to sit down that's why we did the lap <laughs> yeah okay. i rarely i rarely sit unless i'm on the computer and then i'm definitely oh you sitting. know what what's wrong tell me see she's gonna fight me again on this thing no you don't want the inside out you, can you even tell it's a d yeah i can tell it's a d okay you know what it's really not about you it's about the beat <laughs> And so the bees, bees will be as they long as they can color. see. Okay, the color. Then that's very important. Yes, it is important. Okay, okay let's so do these So am I okay accents. doing this? Yeah, you go for it. You're doing great. You're doing really great. I, I did have the bee at one point, you guys, change to pattern, but I changed my mind. So Tanya says she uses a holder. And, oh, yes, we want to see pictures. I don't know what of, but I want to see pictures. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, look at the puff shirt in the background. The bees love zinnias, too. Is that a flower? Uh, it is a flower. I don't know a lot about... Is that about... the one you're going to plant this year? I don't know a lot about flowers. I you should. guys know anything? Last year, we were going to plant a garden. Well, so, and then COVID happened. So and I planted the garden. Flipped upside down, as uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air would say. That was funny. That was a punchline. You're okay, supposed I'm to... concentrating. <laughs> you guys over there should be laughing. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Listen, yes. Mandy still needs to be laughed. <laughs> All right, so this is the Sun Oracle 651 that's in the box, you guys. And don't worry, we're still going to be using the Fruity Baby Cute 
adhesive that is in the box. I love it. And it will be used next week. But for this one, I was like, I got to use this Charming Cheetah. It has such cute colors in it for th for this exact project. And I need the bees to be attracted. You need the bees to be excited to fly in. Yes. And so then I will just, okay. then now, okay. So now I can show you guys in a second. Really great job, Megan. Oh, well, I'm really great job. Okay. okay. So, so we're going to put this lid on. You guys on. like the ceiling? Is you that know, fun? Take note. This matches this. What? Oh, did you color coordinate it on purpose? I did. Jason was like, do you want the black, the red, or the yellow? First I said black, I was like, cool, yeah. But then I was like, wait a minute, we're using yellow. <laughs> so we got the yellow. See, I do. The bees will be happy out. again. I really spent a lot of time thinking this out, okay? It may be the day up, but I do it. Yeah. So I know it's <laughs> it's backwards for you guys, but it's not really backwards. So this is what you do. Then, bum, 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 bum. where's that cool plate you have? Yeah. Okay. Might I add, these are her fancy kitchen plates. She's going to let the bees drink Listen, off. Megan is bitter because she loves these plates and they are out of stock once she once I got them and she saw them. But these are on, they're called Red Vanilla and so they are on Wayfair. So can you these plates? Look they are and amazing. just send them to me, okay? Yeah. Rectangle plates are they good are. for you. They are good for you. Look it up. I won't tell you any more facts tonight, okay? I will let you off for the rest of the night. But they're very good for your brain. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill this with water, Okay. And then you're going to put your plate on top and then you turn it upside down. So when you do that, this is going to allow the bees to have a place to land and the water is not going to all come gushing out. But it is very important to have some place. I know you can't really see. I'm going to take a really good picture of this tomorrow. So you're going to have to have a really nice place for your yes. bees to land. And it is really important, you guys. So if there's nothing else you can do, providing water for them right now is really important. Remember, they will carry up to a gallon of water to their uh, hives yeah, every right. day. So they need extra water, and uh, they don't need sugar. Do not put sugar in it. I read that's really bad. Okay? More Pinterest. So it's red food coloring for hummingbirds. Yes. Oh. No red food coloring for hum hummingbirds either. We have hummingbirds here. I love it. Okay. We're not talking there about we hummingbirds. There we go. Today's bee day. Tomorrow, oh. next week will be hummingbird. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right, so we got the kindness. Yep, we did this amazing puff. I hope you loved it. Um, I do now have another file. We'll have to do another puff project. This shirt another will day. not fit you, though. So you know what I think we should do? So you know how girls in middle school are kind of mean? So Maddie should take this to school. And when one of the Aww. girls is not very kind, she should give it to them. She should roll up in a gift bag and be like, here, I've got a present for you. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. Not passive-aggressive at all. Oh, I think... <laughs> oh, my gosh, that would be so... I'm so, so funny. What are, you are hilarious. You're hilarious. But I think it would be cool. So let's just do a summary, okay? Uh, Mandy was right about being able to press, heat press the mat whenever you cut all the way through. Congratulations to Mandy. Um, the second is that yeah. Puff is amazing. Uh-huh. And so is the Black Cat Prince and so Fonty for letting us use their yes. amazing fonts. Okay. And then so is Chameleon Cuttable for making this amazing pattern yes. just for Sparkleberry. It is literally one of my faves. Love it, love it, love it. Beach. Happy waves, okay? Then the third thing, Charming Cheetah with Glitter Laminate is my jam. I love oh, it. Yeah. So Charming Cheetah, this is so beautiful. I have to, I need to make something in HGV with it, but it's adhesive in the box. And then we made, we saved the bees, right? It's so good. What else? We, we did something else. What was the other thing we did? Oh, and we did, oh, oh we did the shirt. The one, you, no, it's amazing. It looks amazing it does but listen i really wanted to put the offset on it so you guys do it and take a picture and tag me in it so i can see it because it really i really wanted to put the white offset behind it um and it it, it looks great like this it was just the color choices that i made it needed an offset but you know, the lesson to this is sometimes it doesn't always happen you like you expect it oh the white yeah oh i put it in the trash we could have not mirrored the next one that's okay i'll find it i will dig it out of the trash <laughs> No, thank you for uh, right. for making it. Oh, and I have one announcement. Um, this, so I'm actually closing the Talk Shop Live sale tonight. I'm like, because I got to get those shirts done and done. So oh. if you want one of these shirts or one of the other cool shirts that we had in Talk Shop Live, go over there and go grab it because I'm going to close that sale tonight. But yeah, I know that all of you have already ordered it because we have lots of shirts to make. And we're super excited that you supported. Um, yes. Women's History Month and you're going to be sporting shirts just like me and Megan are wearing. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? That is it. It was so fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you proved me wrong. I know. Because you know what's amazing? Now, we will keep you posted on 
If we could actually cut on this mat, it's going to work. Because it's, it's kind of a little warped, but it'll, it'll be good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, we'll roll it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> let it sit um, yeah, so we're going to see them win. Next Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Same time, same place. Okay? Ish. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys All right. so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>